Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakhah Kadash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who has taught us this truth. Shalom, wa barakim, la bakarim, peace and blessings to the elect. And Lord's well, this be an edifying video to the sincere believers. And um, I was just driving and I was just thinking about um, fearless. Fearless came to um, my mind. So I'm going to do a video on the fact that the true believers in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are fearless and are going to continue to be fearless in the days to come, okay? Because we only fear one thing, all right? And that is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is Hebrews 10 and 31. It says, For it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right, so we fear the Lord, okay, which is the beginning of understanding. The scriptures also say the fear of the Lord is our treasure. Okay, those that have fear in the Lord are going to um, have wisdom. They're going to, and that's a very valuable trait to have. Okay, but it also casts it out. All other fears. Okay, all these other different things that you could be afraid of. Um, trouble. Distress. Okay, we're not going to be like the people of this world, man. We're going to be fearless. So let's uh, let's get wisdom of Solomon. Start out with start out with that scripture, and then go from there. It's wisdom of Solomon, chapter seventeen, verse twelve. It says, "For fear is nothing else but a betraying of the succors which reason offereth." Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the definition of the word succors and go and then go back to that verse. All right, the word succor, okay, it's a noun and it means assistance and support in times of hardship and distress. All right, write that right there. Now, it says a verb, give assistance or aid to. So now we know what succor means. Let's go ahead and read that verse one more time. Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 12. It says, for fear is nothing else but a betraying of the succors which reason offereth. Okay? So, through reasoning of the scriptures, we understand that we're going to receive aid from the Heavenly Father. All right? But if we have uh, foolish fear, that's a betraying of that understanding. We understand through reason that the Lord will deliver us. And why do we understand that? Because the Lord has always delivered his, the sincere believers, those that trusted him. Sirach 2 and 10, it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? So no one who ever put their, their trust, their fear and their hope in the Lord was ever forsaken by the Lord. And we know that through looking through the, the accounts and the Holy Scriptures. We know that through looking through um, the history and the Scriptures. This is um, Romans chapter uh, uh, Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right, so looking through the different accounts in, in history, we have hope and comfort knowing that what? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is going to deliver us. And what does that do? That casts out all fear. We have no, no longer are we afraid. Okay. Um, get a couple of scriptures. This is Proverbs chapter 28. Um, and two, it says the wicked flee. It's like it. And one, it says the wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are, are bold as a lion. Okay, so the righteous, are they're bold like a lion, man. And another trait of a lion is fearless. Okay, so like, yeah. let's, head, let's go ahead and get... Let's get Timothy's real quick, and then get, we'll get 1 John. This is um, 2 Timothy's chapter 1, and verse 7. It says, For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of a sound mind. So the Lord hasn't given us a spirit of fear, okay? The spirit of fear 
is going to be upon the wicked, man. All right, because what? The Lord is not dealing with the wicked. The Lord is not going to protect the ungodly. But us, the true, sincere believers in Yahweh, Shem Shai, we have nothing to fear. We have nothing to worry. Okay? It says, for the most I have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All right, let's go ahead and get what love is. Um, this is First John 5 and 3. For this is love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Okay? And that's what we do. We know we keep the commandments of the Lord to the best of our ability. So we know the, the, the Lord, that we love the Lord, and the Lord loves us. And the Lord's going to protect those that love him, those that put their trust in him. And one token of the fact that we love and put our trust in the Lord is the fact that we strive to keep the commandments to the best of our ability. Here it is. We're in this wicked society. All right, but yet we still grow our beards, okay? Yet we still don't put lineups on our beards and on our head, even though that's something that is heavily pushed in the society. Here it is, we don't eat pork, which is heavily pushed in the society. Here it is, we don't eat shellfish, which is heavily pushed in the society. We're doing all these different things because we love the Lord. So we know that in return, okay, even though we don't keep the commandments to the best of our ability, we don't keep it perfectly, Okay, but we still believe in Yahweh Shai who kept it perfectly. And since we're doing all these things, okay, we have faith in the Lord, we know that we're going to be protected. All right, so there's nothing to fear at the end of the day. And we are, and the Lord is putting on us a fearless spirit, and we're going to need that spirit when all hell breaks loose, when all trouble comes. This is 1 John 4 and 17. It says, um, It says, Herein is our love made perfect. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. All right. It says our love is made perfect that we have boldness in the day of judgment. Because the day of judgment is coming. All right. That's what we're gearing our minds toward. That's what we're. Uh, that's what we're preparing ourselves for. But what us, the, since the believers, the true worshipers. We're going to be bold in the day of judgment like lions. It says, because as he is, so are we in this world. Verse 18 says, there's no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Because fear have torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. So we have been made perfect in love. Therefore, we don't have uh unreasonable fear like this world does see this world they fear everything okay but we only fear the most high which is the beginning of wisdom which is the beginning of understanding okay and which is going to keep us stable in the times to come i quoted it but i'm gonna go ahead and get it it's isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and we understand that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the lord all right it says in strength of salvation the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So through having the fear of the Lord, that's who we fear. Okay, that's what's going to keep us stable in the times of come. That's what's going to keep us bold. That's what's going to take away um, all this unreasonable doubt. Okay, we're not going to be panicking. We're not going to be in a panic state, a frantic state like the rest of the world will be in the times to come. All right, this is the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. It says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So we don't fear the so-called white man. All right. We don't fear uh, the coronavirus. We don't fear none of the things that's going to come down. None of the things that's happening now. None of the things that's going to happen in the future because we know who's in control, man. All right, which is the Yahweh Shem Yah Shai. And the Yahweh Shem Yah Shai has the ability to destroy both soul and body in hell, man. He could, he, not only can he take you out, okay, but he also can torment you, okay? He controls both sides. This is Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So when evil comes, we understand who's responsible for it. We understand how to escape it. Okay, because the Lord's the one that brings us. So he's the one that can deliver you. He's the one that has to deliver you from it. It's the book of Amos. 
chapter 3 and 6 and 6 it says shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid shall there be shall there be evil in a city and the lord have not done it so if evil is being done in the city it's being done by the hands of the lord all right and we understand that the lord is using the so-called white man as as his sword to destroy Okay, this is Psalm 17 to 13. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And that's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to protect us from the sword because we understand that the sword, the wrath of, 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 the, of Esau, Edom, is soon coming, is soon approaching. But it's not going to come nigh us. It's not going to touch us. It's Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So the devil is about to come down with great wrath, but we're not going to be destroyed by that sword because we, we trust in the Lord. All right. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 16 and 4. It says the Lord have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the wicked, the so-called white man. He's, he was created for the times in which we're coming into Jacob's trouble. All right, but what? He's going to slay and destroy the wicked of our people. He's not going to come nigh the sincere believers, the elect. This is Proverbs 3. I'm going to read, start 24. It says, When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Verse 25, it says, Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. So we're not going to be afraid of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. It says, for the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. And that's the point, man. We're not going to be afraid because we know who is uh, protecting us and delivering us, man. All right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34. And uh, no, that's not it. There it is. It's Psalms 34 and uh, 7. I'll start at 6. It says, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. All right. The scriptures also say in Luke that the Lord is uh, hears the cries of the elect, and he's going to deliver them swiftly. All right. The Lord hears our cries. He's going to deliver us out of all of our troubles. The scriptures say, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth out of them all. Verse 7, here's the point, says, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So the Lord's going to deliver us, man. That's why we're bold. That's why we're fearless, man. We're without fear. Okay, because what? We fear Yahweh Bashim Shai. We don't fear man. We don't fear what others can do. All right? Let me get that in Hebrews. This is Hebrews chapter 13. Verse 5, it says, Let your coverage conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have for you have said i will never leave thee nor forsake thee so having a relationship with yahweh Shai is the only thing that we should be uh, focusing our mind towards is the only thing that is importance we understand that having a relationship with the lord is going to lead to everything else being added unto you the lord said what seek ye the kingdom of the most high and he will add all things unto you. he knows that you need of these things like food raiment all right, the Lord's not going to leave us hanging. The Lord said he's never forsaken the righteous, nor seen his, nor saw his seed begging bread. All right, but we have to establish the most important thing, which is the conclusion of the whole matter, which is to serve the most high and keep his commandments. All right, but here's the point, verse 6. It says, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Okay, and I, I believe the point was made, man, that, you know, the Lord has made his made us and is making us fearless, man. Okay? And it's really going to be shown in the days to come. And Lord's will, this was edifying. Call Allah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rukakadash. The bonus of the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well. Shalom. Wa Barakim. La Bakarim. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.